So, if Arnold Jacobs' methods and teachings were the holy grail to brass playing, then why aren't we all doing it? I think the fact of the matter is a lot of us are. Um, what's difficult about Arnold Jacobs, I mean, do you know who this guy is? Not the mouthpiece, the guy, Arnold Jacobs. I mean, dude was, he was like the principal tuba player with the Chicago Symphony for like 40 freaking years. I mean, dude was amazing. I mean, you play tuba in the Chicago Symphony, you know something about chops, you know something about air, um, everything else, articulation and style. I mean, dude was awesome. Problem I have with uh, Arnold Jacobs is there's not a lot of written material in regards to his routine, his pedagogy. There's some, yeah. I mean, what's that thing, Song and Wind, or Wind and Song? I'm sorry if I'm kind of screwing that up. Um, and he's got maybe a book or two up, but there's not a whole lot that he put out in writing. I think a lot of his stuff was just actual teaching, uh, live one-on-one -on -one teaching, or uh, maybe even master classes and stuff like that. Um, so it's not like you're going to run into a lot of stuff. Like Herbert L. Clark put out a lot of printed material um, from his cornet solos to characteristic studies, elementary studies, technical studies. Um, but no, Arnold Jacobs, I think his stuff is worthy, especially when it comes to, I've even quoted him on some of the lip buzzing stuff. He really believed in lip strength and Amish strength. I think he even does some demonstrations with lip buzzing. He believed in certain, um, I believe he believed in certain apparatus devices that would help your breathing. I mean, my God, the guy was playing a huge contrabass tuba in the Chicago Symphony. He had to know something about air, something about breathing the right way. So um, Arnold Jacobs, he's worthy of um, anything you can find on him. Go get it and look at it. Uh, he was playing on this huge bath of a mouthpiece for 40 years with the Chicago Symphony. The guy is just amazing. Um, as far as being the holy grail to brass and trumpet playing, I probably wouldn't say that, but I would say he's he's up there. Many of us have actually looked at his stuff. Many of us, many of us have applied some of his um, teachings and concepts to um, our own playing. So Arnold Jacobs really is a guy that you should not dismiss. You should be investigating and buying some of the stuff and going through it if you're at all serious about playing a brass instrument. So uh, this is um, Kurt Thompson in regards to Arnold Jacobs, former tuba player for 40 years, four decades with the Chicago 70. Amazing. Um, that's my story, baby. Sticking to it. Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's youtube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently, all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.